dictates his work to someone other than his wife. <laughs> I am that fool. <laughs> Today's period piece is dedicated to one of the youngest recipients of the Dragon Treasure. Those of you who are from Duntre will know precisely whom I'm speaking of. But as her parents aren't here, I won't give her name. Demeter, the goddess of the harvest and the grain and all things that grow, had a daughter by Zeus. Such are the Greek gods that they do such things. And this daughter was lovely and beautiful and everything you would want for beauty. Hades, the king of the underworld, saw the girl, whose name was Persephone, and said, I want her for my queen. So one day, when Persephone was out in the field with her friends, picking flowers, the king of the underworld rode up in his chariot, the earth opened, he gathered her up in his arms and took her down to the underworld. Demeter, the goddess of things that grow, was in despair, for her only daughter, whom she loved, was gone. And not one thing grew in all the earth. Well, this could not be. Men cried out to Demeter, but she would not hear him. They cried out to Zeus. Zeus went to his brother Hades and said, you have to give up Persephone. All of the followers on all of the earth can't feed, can't feed themselves, for there's no food. Hades agreed that he would give up the girl. But while the girl was there, she ate nine seeds of the pomegranate. And because of this, for nine months out of the year, she has to be down in the underworld with Hades. And her mother despairs. But for three months, she gets to live on Olympus with her mother. And in those three months, the grass grows. Grains grow in the fields. The trees are filled with fruit. And this is why it is now cold. Because Persephone, the lovely, is serving her reign in Hades. 